Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are here at Toke RV Village and we are all lined up right now. And over here, we do this slowly so we don't get dizzy. So we are all lined up. Awaiting to get a RV wash. Walter is up there helping with power spraying Juan to get all the dirt, all the dirt from top of the world highway off our rigs. And as you can see, it's really, really muddy. Wanda is brown right now. It's not the shiny silver. It's the mud is just caked on. I'm probably carrying about, I want to say two to three hundred pounds extra weight just in mud. It was a very fun drive, in my opinion, of the top of the world highway. I actually got to use the 4x4 in the truck. And the truck has been handling wonderfully, towing Wanda. Hi Ariel, I want you folks Hello, to know, okay, this guy's got a very heavy foot, okay, he started last of everybody out of the campground, the 26th coach out of 24, and now he's only the second coach in, I mean, heavy foot. Bye! <laughs> okay, so I'm a lot lighter than everyone else. I'm a lot lighter than everyone else. Everyone else is like 50,000 pounds. Look at these. They're, they're luxury mansions. <laughs> so, compared to our, our RV, that's only what? 12? 1,200 pounds? So, uh, 14. Maybe it's about 14. We're about 14, 12,000 compared to their 50,000 pounds. Anyway, love everyone here in this caravan. Everyone's been very nice. So, uh, anyway, more about the park later. Oh, we do have 50 amp, or not 50, 30 amp sewer and water. I'm not quite sure where we're setting up yet, but I know it's gonna be a pull through it's beautiful here. Look at all the little pine trees. I like this park. This park I could probably stay in for a couple of days. Maybe even a week. But we're only here for one night. So right now my impression of this park is that I do like it. So it's a yes to definitely stay here. I love the matching oh, outfit. Wanda's getting washed by everyone in the caravan. All right, here we are on our campsite number 410, and I'm very impressed. It is actually 50 amp. 50, 30, and the 120 volt water and sewer hookup. 
very impressed with this campground. And I love all the trees. The aspen, love aspen. When the wind blows, it makes a, a, a nice sound. It's just a nice gentle sound. And again, the trees, it's just, there's trees, there's trees everywhere. So here we all are, lined up, and it's nice spacing. There's, there's, there's a bench, and then there's, there's trees. There's just trees between the rigs. And it's nicely spaced out. We're not jammed in next to each other. And it's not really dirt. It's these pebbly things on the ground. Really nice. So we're not really walking on dirt. And trees. I just love all the trees. Trees. Look at this. Trees. Trees everywhere. I'm liking Toke. I like this park. So my recommend. You can stay. I, I would stay here for a week. If we had a chance. But we're only here for an evening. And my impression of this park is wonderful. They have laundry. That we're not going to do. Because again we're only here for one night. The restrooms are clean. They all need a code. Which is fine. And the owner. Also sealed up. Our ding. 15 miles from here. We got a rock. On our windshield, he came and repaired it, and now he repaired it so well that I can't even tell where the ding is anymore. Did a great job. So, coming here to talk, if you get a ding in your windshield, they will do it. It was $65, but it's worth it. Just for the fact that it's not gonna crack or, or spider out anymore. Again, $65 for a ding, for me, is worth it. Okay, so we'll see you in Fairbanks tomorrow. Again, my impressions of this park is a yes. I would stay here longer than one night, probably a week, if we were up here again. And we probably will be in the future. Okay, night.